kangaroo paw genus has 11 species and there's a related one, the black and green kangaroo paw, which is in a different genus. So I guess 12 species of kangaroo paws. And they occur from about Kalbarri uh, in the north through to Esperance, that real southwest corner of Western Australia, and they're found nowhere else in the world. Kangaroo paws rely on both smoke and heat to germinate, um, and so that's why we call them fire ephemerals, because after they've done that, they don't last a long time in the landscape. So they look very spectacular a year or two after fire, and then over time, as the other plants grow up around them, they slowly die out. Kangaroo paws in the wild are pollinated by birds, and from the structure of the flower, um, the anthers are where the pollen is, uh, presented right at the ends of the flower. So the birds go in looking for nectar at the base of the flower, and that uh, allows the pollen to be placed on their heads, and then they'll visit another flower. Uh, and so that's how pollination occurs. Yeah, so we first started working on kangaroo paws here at Kings Park, probably back in uh, 2007 with the real focused uh, program. And what we were aiming for at that time was to uh, bring disease tolerance into the genus. But then serendipitously out of doing that cross and selfing and sib crossing, uh, the first blue kangaroo paw emerged. And you can also see we've got you know, different shades of blue. We've got this pale blue here. Uh, we've got darker blues, uh, for instance, uh, great reds, yellows, everything really that you could wish for.